to hold each other and embrace each other. Mm -hmm. Not because I have more. I have more education. I have more money. No, that should never come because we're all from one divine creator. I'm truly enjoying my stay here in Ghana and I'm connecting with my roots. Yes. Okay. I like the part that says you're connecting with your roots. Okay, so our audience out there, just as you know, we are having the diasporas coming in and most of them don't just come to take more as we all perceive they come to take. And then um, I know some of them come with a good intention, with a good perspective and then want to do something to help or give back in a way that they feel they will be fulfilled. So um, we have Granny here, and I know Granny had a purpose of visiting. So I would want her to share with us her purpose, and then probably if there is something she would also want to give back to the community or something. Yes, definitely so, because I see so much of the culture that I feel that unless we support that culture, it will be wasted, it will, it will be overlooked. And it's so important that we don't allow that to happen. And it's part of the heritage, part of my heritage. I feel that I have an obligation to give back. So much has been given to us from Africa and so much has been taken away. It is time for us to give back, but to give back in a sense of community. Yeah. Not giving back in the sense that because I have more yeah. than you, yeah. but because you're my brother and we need to stand as one people. Yeah. And I think that this to me is very important. This is what I want to do. This is my purpose. And I think this is why the Creator allowed me to come to Ghana, because I am continuing to fulfill my purpose. And I think that this, it's very important for us as elders to realize that we are the foundation for you all. But if we are a solid and good foundation, then there's nothing for you to stand on. Yeah. But when we come together as a unit, then we are unbreakable. Nothing can stop us as a people not saying that we are going to, we want to conquer the world or we want to do things that's going to be harmful for anybody else. Yeah. But as a people, we come together as a united front. And the way that perhaps some people have been able to divide us yeah. is to pit us against each other. This is the way that they did the people, our ancestors that they made slaves. Our people didn't go into America and the, and the uh, Caribbean and all that as slaves. They were made slaves. But they also used tactics to divide our people, making one feel that they were better than the other. So we don't want to continue that legacy. We want now a legacy of unity, cooperation, yes. Wow. Just as Granny said, it's about time we all come together. It doesn't matter whether they are diaspora or we down here in Ghana, in Africa. We need to be together. We need to be one and then have a, um, a set goal and then try to yes. achieve it as much as we can. Okay, that's, yes. that's wonderful. So Granny, is there any kind of way you would want to um, support? And then do you think we need people to come in to support us well? I think uh, as you are, you as young men mm -hmm. are in, uh, at the forefront of perhaps starting a foundation. Okay. And one of the things that we need to always feel that there's somebody trustworthy. Yeah. That when we give whatever we're going to give, our funds or whatever is going to be taken care of and put in the proper hands. And so I believe that, you know, as an elder, and I see you as a young person that's trying to improve the overall situation, I feel that I would like to support you all in doing that. Okay. 
and knowing that you, you have the mental capacity, you have the physical strength to do these things. And as I said, if we build upon a foundation of righteousness, yeah. <laughs> then we can continue that foundation. We can continue to grow as a people. Yes. Okay. Um, um, the last one I would want us to take before we go is um, overall, you're staying in Ghana for two weeks. What mm -hmm. would be your last um, words, your summary? In conclusion, what would you say about your stay in Ghana? How has it been? It, this has been very wonderful for me. And it's been wonderful because I have been able to see the, the strength. I don't think any other people could have survived what our people went through. But I see, I see so much natural talent, people making furniture, men still making boats, this type of thing, to me, that is so very important. <laughs> it can't be mass produced in factories. Yeah. Yeah. So we cannot overlook the natural talent of our people. So, but I'm just enjoying my, my stay. It's just wonderful. And like I say, the only reason that when I come back, I will have to have something to keep me busy. Cause <laughs> you always want to be busy. You yes. Just don't want to. Okay. I'm still fulfilling my purpose, my okay. divine purpose. Okay. That's, that's well said. So back to our viewers out there, if you are watching us, this is Brothers from Ghana. And then I would want to plead with everybody watching us. On our platform, we are not just using it to explore the beauty and then the fun aspects of Ghana and then Africa. There's a platform we would want to go down, touch the bases, and then help those people down there where people are overlooking. So we would want each and every one out there to help come on board in any capacity you think you can. And then let's do this together. And then I know sometime, some years from now, we will all be fulfilled with whatever we are going to give out to the needy now. And then that's all. So thank you so much for talking to us, Granny. And then we hope you come back again to Ghana some other time. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's